How's it going guys? My name's Alec. So I didn't introduce myself in my last video. So I figured I would, you know, take the time to sit down for just a couple seconds here and introduce myself. So as you guys know, I'm Alec. I'm from Ohio and I'm into fitness stuff. I'm like, I'm very, very into fitness stuff. Um, so you probably clicked on this video wondering, how do you lose weight? Um, how do you get to a leaner body fat percentage than you are right now? Have you tried, you know, those fit teas, you know, the, uh, the fit coffees, uh, the fit vitamins or whatever, like the fit pills, like the supplements, have you tried any of that stuff? Um, have you tried just eating cleaner? and you still weren't seeing the results that you wanted to see in the mirror. Let me tell you, at the leanest I ever been was 180 pounds. I'll put it on the screen right here. Um, that was the leanest I possibly got. I don't know what body fat percentage that was. It's kind of relevant as long as I, like, I don't really care about body fat percentage. I'm more of a person who cares about how I look. Um, like if, I, if I'm like at 10% body fat um, and I think I look great, that's great. You know what I mean? I'm comfortable with that. I don't feel like going any lower than that. If I'm comfortable with my body, I'll stay in that place. You know what I'm saying? So, um, typically people really focus on like how their body looks and how did, how did they get there? How did you like the, you know, you know, the Hollywood actors, how do the fitness guys that you see on YouTube, how do they get there? What well, that's the main question that everyone asks. How do I get to that body fat percentage? The short answer before I explain is a caloric deficit. Now, there's a big, big range, like a spectrum of um, goals that people have in mind. We have, from what I just said, a caloric deficit when they wanna lose weight, that's what it is. A caloric deficit is how you lose weight. We have a caloric deficit. We have a body recomposition. We have our maintenance calories. We have a lean bulking protocol. And we also just have a bulking protocol, which is a surplus, a caloric surplus. So how do people get there? Like how do you lose the weight? So it starts out on average 12 times your body weight. That's typically a good uh, range of a deficit that most people stick in. And that's how, you know, those Hollywood actors that get super chiseled is because they're not doing what everybody else is doing. You probably try eating cleaner. Um, that's partially true, which you don't want to have to focus on that. Um, most people think that eating cleaner will just, you know, make you lose all that fat off of you. It'll help to an extent, like if, you, you know, you are eating less, that's what you should be doing is like if you want to lose weight, that just makes sense, is that you lose the weight by simply not eating as much as you normally would. You don't want to eat more than your body can burn at a time, if that makes sense. So... Um, yes, you can eat clean all you want, but it's more of a calorie quantity than a food quality, which don't get me wrong. You should be eating, you know, grilled chicken or things like that, that are really good for the body. Um, you should be eating fruits, your vegetables, but that all does not matter if you're not in a caloric deficit, because that's the only way that you can lose weight other than cardio. I see, I see a lot of people who stick around maintenance calories and they do a lot of high intensity interval training and they, they, you know, they lose like that, um, fat that's around their abs and they're comfortable with that and that's okay. But if you want to get leaner than that, you should typically be doing around a caloric deficit, 12 times your body weight range. Um, I would say the extreme, more extreme approach would be 10 times your body weight. And most people don't, um, they don't understand how that works. Like, how long do you stay in a deficit? Um, are you going to lose the muscle that you already have while you're in a deficit? There's so many questions that people ask. So the short answer is you will not lose, you know, your lean muscle if you do the correct workouts for one. Two, you want to um, have a refeed day at least once or twice a week, typically like on Fridays, like when I was losing weight right now, I'm in a caloric surplus. I'm trying to put on weight. So of course I have to have a little bit of fat that comes along with it because that's inevitable because the muscle feeds off of the fat in order for you to get bigger. That makes sense. So when you're in a caloric deficit, your body, it wants to slow down its metabolism after a certain amount of time. So when you implement a refeed day, 
it's just basically telling your body, hey, look, you're okay. You can keep losing the weight. And mostly, like, if you've been in a deficit for a very long time and you eat, like, a nice, nice big meals for your refeed day, that typically goes into your muscles. It, it fuels the muscles more. You keep continuing to burn the fat. I mean, it just, it makes sense. If you want to lose the weight, you don't eat as much as you typically do. Um, but, of course, you don't also want to neglect the exercises that will make you look good, make you pop out well. Um, and, no, you won't lose your muscle mass. And you don't have to eat, you know, grilled chicken, you know, six times a day with broccoli. I mean, that's just, that's unfathomable. It's, it's not a good approach to weight loss. Um, because you actually don't really know, unless you're tracking your calories, how much weight you're losing. And people don't get that. So, um, the fit teas, the fit coffees, you know, the um, vitamins that say that it's like a weight loss burner like a fat burner it's a bunch of horse shit all that does is it just burns the water weight off of you and you think you lost the weight but you really didn't so you because you just end up putting that water weight back on when it comes to that stuff and you know people will do like these very 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 restrictive diets such as keto or um i'm not saying you know vegans like one of those things but i've i've tried vegan before or limiting, just limiting my carbohydrates in general, or limiting, you know, my meat consumption, like just lowering that stuff, it ends up having you binge eat after a certain amount of time. Because when you do keto, you're actually limiting your carbs, right? So then you're um, focusing more on like your ketosis and your brain, yada, yada, yada. But, and you're relying more on ketones for your fuel source. And like your fuel source is your fat. And that, that's typically how, you know, keto diet works is because it's focusing more on how much fat you're eating. You're typically eating a higher fatty diet because that's how you're burning that energy off is your fat source. Um, so limiting your carbs and stuff like that and limiting the foods that you enjoy, you end up binge eating as a result. If you go too low in calories, yes, you will end up binge eating regardless. I'm just saying that if you also limit your carbohydrates, you'll end up binge eating at a certain time. Um, that's not necessarily true for everybody, but for most people, like if you limit your carbs, you end up like hungry, you're tired, you have brain fog, you, you're not yourself, you're irritable, and carbs are what actually help to replenish your glycogen stores in your muscles. So when you implement that before or after your training, you have a better chance of you know having a better mental focus and you end up putting on muscle in that way you can actually lose muscle if you don't end up eating a lot of carbs so as a matter of fact you'll end up triggering your muscle and burning your muscle off your protein i should say and that's like more of like an ammonia smell in your sweat or like a vinegar smell you'll notice it so the takeaway from this is when you're in a calorie deficit, it's 12 times your body weight on average. Don't restrict yourself of foods. And I will give you guys a recommendation on how I lost weight. I lost about 11 pounds. And then of course, we all end up having a plateau at a certain point, right? But the way I ended up losing weight was intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is a super powerful tool, but that'll be for another video. I'll wake up for the first, you know, four to six hours, not have anything. I'll have like, a, like a, you know, my water, black coffee, you can have green tea or regular tea, doesn't really matter. As long as there's no sugar in it, I'll go the first four to six hours without, you know, eating any food. And then I'll break the fast with like a banana or an apple or like a cup of blueberries. And then I'll have like a protein shake, maybe a couple of like, you know, well that's, never mind. That's what I'm doing right now. What I did when I was losing weight was I would, I would have like a banana when I broke my fast or an apple. And then later on, I would have like a big Chipotle bowl or a hot head burrito bowl. Um, and that would get like most of my calories in. And the last of my calories was either a chocolate bar, which you're probably surprised why you're eating a chocolate when you're trying to lose weight. It doesn't matter. You can have your sweets as long as it fits in your caloric intake when you're in a deficit. I would either have chocolate or I'll have three eggs with a bagel, a couple bagels. And that would hit my um, calorie limit of the day. And I was still burning fat. 
So that's how, that was my diet approach. You can even eat pop chips on that. I mean, it was like, that's how I lost my weight. It's not always the healthiest approach, you know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to food quality, but it also matters more for the calorie quantity as well. So you gotta think about that when you're trying to lose weight. Um, you have to have at least one read feed day a week so that your body knows it's okay and that it doesn't slow your metabolism down. And that's basically it. Focus on the exercises that matter, um, such as, you know, incline bench press, um, flat bench, um, Bulgarian split squats. I recommend doing those if you don't want wider legs, like humongous legs. Uh, Romanian deadlifts, weighted chin ups or pull ups, overhead uh, press or seated overhead press, standing or seated, doesn't matter. If you do these kind of exercises or weighted dips, I actually recommend weighted dips more than the flat bench. But if you do those exercises, you're golden when you're in a calorie deficit and your body will look great. Um, but you don't necessarily have to follow my approach on, my training approach on. You can do different types of exercises and people still end up looking great. That's just what I would recommend. Um, but yeah, make sure you do the right exercises that you want for your physique and how you want it to pop. And last thing, yeah, just don't restrict yourself of your favorite foods. Don't take those, you know, fit teas, the fit coffees and stuff like that. They do not work. It just, or the, you know, the fat burners, it just gets rid of your water weight. It's not healthy. And you end up binge eating as a result and not losing the weight and you're, you're hit with a stagnant plateau and it, it just doesn't get any better so just if you have any questions let me know in the comments i'll see you guys in the next video peace out i also forgot to add this in there so one of like my instagram followers he dm'd me and he asked me because he knew i have a um instagram fit this like a fitsta or like a fitness instagram and he was asking me how i lost like weight and he says he, like, he's stuck, he's out of shape. He said he was around 260 pounds um, and he didn't feel good. So I told him eat at 12 times your body weight. And I gave him a set of um, workouts to try. And I said, come back to me in 12 weeks and let me know how that worked out for you. And I said, of course, make sure you have a refeed day and don't restrict yourself with your favorite foods. He came back to me 12 weeks later and he said that he lost 30 to 40 pounds of fat. And he says he looks more muscular. And I gave him the rep ranges that like for the workouts that he should be following, um, the reverse pyramid training style, and all that. I gave him a set of workouts to try and all that. And he lost 30 to 40 pounds. He kept on lean muscle at the same time and he eats his favorite foods. He says he feels amazing and he, could he wishes that he could repay what i did for him and i don't know about you but that makes me feel good that i helped somebody lose that weight um because it, it just shows that i know what i'm doing for one but two i'm glad that somebody you know benefited from that and that they feel more confident about themselves and that, that's what i you know want for people to do because for like the longest time i was insecure about my body and then i started researching you know how to benefit myself and I like to help people, not just because I don't want to like have to have people pay for something. So like I just helped the guy out, 30 to 40 pounds he lost. It was incredible, and he showed me his transformation. It was incredible. Um, he, cause I, I'm an affiliate with like a like a shirt brand, and he said that he would buy a shirt using my promo code, just because I helped him. And it, I don't know about you, it just it makes me feel touched in the heart it makes me feel good that i helped somebody you know achieve their fitness goals and i gave him another set of workouts not like shoulder emphasis but more of uh, chest emphasis i gave him more of a chest emphasis workout to try and i said continue the same protocol but take a four week maintenance break four to five week maintenance break so just get your body um to add more muscle during those four weeks get stronger um make yourself feel better. Don't restrict yourself to foods that you like. I told him that he needed to eat at his maintenance calories, which I forgot to also mention like what that is for your read feed day, which is 15 times your body weight. So that's where you, that's the range that you'll eat at when you want to not lose weight, but you don't also want to gain it either. And you can also 
you know, eat at maintenance and continue progressive overload on your exercises and you will achieve great results that way, but you won't, you know, lose the shredded fat like you won't lose that fat that you want to shred around your stomach after a certain period of time so when you want to lose that weight caloric deficit is the only way other than cardio extensive hours of cardio there's so many ways that you can do it but that's like the best most strategic way that you could find it so i just wanted to share that little story with you on how i helped somebody lose weight i also helped my girlfriend lose weight i gave her now her calorie count and I told her do these certain amount of exercises do what you feel comfortable with and also walk 10,000 steps a day and she lost so much weight she feels better she eats healthier food on top of her calorie count so if you guys don't want to have to you know of course eat your favorite food all the time and you want to eat things that are better for you do that as long as it's in your calorie range that's all that matters so I just wanted to add that last bit in there. So if you have any questions, let me down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. It'll be my back, bicep, and leg workout next video for uh, the coronavirus at-home workout. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys later.